10 is a thing of beauty. Fresh cut fries, squeaky cheese curds, and gravy. Pair that with the quintessence of winter in a Canadian tire parking lot, and this might just be the most Canadian thing ever. Jeffers Fries is a local institution in the town of Penticton, located in the desert between Canada's Rocky Mountains and the Pacific Ocean, where summers are hot and winters are pretty cold. Join me, Chris Stenberg, professional filmmaker and traveler, as I try to film this story while filming myself. By myself. Oh, Jeffers Fries is a, like a, and it's an experience. It's all about customer service. It's all about making sure that you're happy. What do you think like is the appeal of Putin? Oh, it's a comfort food, 100%. And it's a Canadian dish. I feel like as a Canadian, it's sort of like, you just know what it is. Like you, it's, it's part of our culture, but to the people coming here, maybe from elsewhere, do you, do you get a lot of like sort of Americans and things or, or people from other countries that are like, what is this? Uh, yeah, I feel like the people from the States oftentimes, which is so funny because they're not that far away. They're like, what, fries, cheese and gravy? Oh no, no thank you. Which is weird because they have fries, they do chili cheese fries, but fries, cheese and gravy is not something they go for. Yeah, they don't really know what to get and they're looking, well, what is this thing? And yeah, you, you give it to them and they love it. We have a tendency when people say poutine, they put the heart on the, on the last part where it's actually very romantic, it's poutine, you know? <laughs> I like that. That's nice. <laughs> I've never really quite thought about it in that way, but that's... Well, hey, you know. I had a thing where we bring a valentine to the fry truck, just to the fry truck, and we'll get a, you'll get a free complimentary fry. But some people made this great big poster, and it was a love letter to Putsin. It, it was pretty cool. How did you arrive at Putsin as the kind of, you know... As a mainstay? Yeah, like, because, I mean, you could have just done fries or yeah. like Smokies or... Well, my uh, first year, 40 years ago, all I had was French fries with salt and vinegar. Period. No ketchup, no gravy. Well, it didn't take very long and the customer going, what, no ketchup, come on. <laughs> so I had ketchup probably within two weeks. <laughs> and then of course the gravy buzzed, so I had to get gravy. But right away, the, the French Canadians, they were picking cherries. They said, oh, you have to have poutine. I said, what is it? They said, oh, fromage en grain. So I'm looking up. The translation it says grains of cheese well what the heck what are grains of cheese must cottage cheese i put cottage cheese ah, cottage cheese and gravy on oh that sounds really like gross right and they kept bugging me and bugging me so about two years later i went to quebec to visit some relatives and i went first thing i went right into the stores i went what's this boots in it's cheese curd cheese curd that has no translation so squeaky cheese as as fromage en grain is grains of cheese so then I came back and uh, I started selling Putsin. And first, first couple of years, I might sell 10 a day. Now, the gravy is homemade. My mom's recipe, that I'm still doing the same gravy for 40 years. What do you, what do you sort of attribute the success of Jeffers to? I mean, obviously you've had well, some like great, great events and great summers and, and, but you know, 40 years, I mean, you're still here. Well, so. my menu says, expect the best. And I mean that every time. Uh, it's not sometime, it's not two thirds of the time, it's not 90, it's all the time. We've just kept that quality, whether we're, we have a 50 person lineup or one person that we want to give them the, the best we can do. I'll probably be on board for till the day I die if I can. We might, might see 80 years of Jeffers fries. Were you around for the MC Hammer, yes. like the famous? Tell me about that, because there's not a lot of people that can tell me about that definitively that were there. <laughs> MC Hammer is way cool. So it was Music 91. So British Columbia put out a great big plan where they wanted to bring in some really hot music all over British Columbia. And so Penticton, we, had, we got MC Hammer. And uh, so I had my fry truck there and it was a huge event. People were packed in and we had like a very short window to serve 4,000 people fries or poots in. So we hustled that and uh, it was like the, that night or that day that uh, some crowds of people were going down Main Street and started a little bit of a ruckus and and uh, it would have just stayed a ruckus until the police decided get out you know we're gonna stop this they brought the riot the, the fire trucks and they read the riot act and then everybody went crazy they thought that was really exciting. So then they decided to push the peach in the <laughs> Roll the peach into the water. 
I mean, this is like the famous story of Penticton that I've heard over and over and over again from different people, told in many different ways, but that <laughs> seemed to mark like a change in, you know, oh, the, the town. It was sad. It was a sad change. Uh, within a year, it just killed, killed our party. Because this town used to have a pretty significant nightlife. Even when I moved here, it yes. was pretty good, but people still were talking about how much better it used to be. Oh, it was crazy. It was, uh, in 91 was my, my busiest year for the summer and 93 was my slowest. So there was about four years in a row where I actually worked 100 hours without a break. No sleep, 100 hours. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was a nice buzz. It was, and it was really nice. What's the strangest thing that's ever happened to you while working the Jeffers truck. Oh, the sun's almost starting to come up and you still have a lineup and you've heard of Shambhala. So I did Shambhala. I had 15 staff, half of them left early and my other half were supposed to be sleeping because they just worked the night shift and we got a lineup of 60 people. So I, I woke these guys up and said, I'm sorry guys. And they were like dragging their butts out of bed and Michael was one of them. And, and we were like seven deep fryers, full blast. And uh, we were serving a poutine like every seven seconds. It's an incredible amount of French fries. It's a lot of fries. We would have went through two pallets of potatoes. So that's 5,000 pounds in one day. Day and night, we were chipping and cooking all night long, all day. What is it about the Jeffers poutine experience? That's... I, th I think the big one is, is the cheese. Like we don't skimp on getting good cheese. And the gravy, we have a homemade gravy. And the fact that this homemade fries, you know, like if you have just frozen fries and like a crappy cheese and like a powdered gravy, it's really not the same. So you're doing everything from scratch in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we make the gravy once, twice a week during the summer. Sometimes it's like 160 liters worth of gravy a week we're making. And then, uh, yeah, fresh cutting the fries, blanching them, cooking them. That's awesome. Well. Should we uh, make some poutine? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Let's be, do it. All right. Plus, it's probably warmer in there than it is out here. Uh, not really, no. No, it's not really. I no. guess the window's open. What, and the window's open and the exhaust fan sucks out all the heat from the fryers and it just creates this negative pressure which creates this beautiful draft in the window. So whatever temperature the person standing up front side the truck is feeling, we're feeling that, but blowing in our face. It's it's not, like I, I wear, I wear yeah, wool yeah, and I layer yeah. up and crazy all right well i was thinking like it's gonna be hot in there but it's not gonna be like sitting on a cold ass piece of concrete no your butt will be a little warmer for sure yeah. okay Like these bagged up to go? There you go. Thank you, sir. Hey, you're welcome. If you had to think of like a most quintessential setting for you know eating poutine in Canada, could it be this? It it, it could be Canadian Tire Park. And we got the umbrellas now and the couple chairs, which is nice. I think you can eat it wherever as long as it's good cheese, good fries, and good gravy. The summer is quite fun though because you get all the Quebecois that come over here and do their summer working. And like a Sunday when like no one's really working, all of a sudden four will show up and they'll oh make their poots in and then all of a sudden like five more show up and then like six more show up and like oh yeah we're all hanging out and we say we're going to get poots in and it's like before you know it 20 people are there. I hear a lot of them say that this is the best poots in that they get outside of Quebec. I would have said something or made a more pleasant face while eating the delicious poots in, but I was so cold. It's also worth noting that since the filming of this episode, I've had to give up gluten. But lo and behold, Jeffers has a gluten-free gravy. 
And while not the 40-year-old gravy recipe of his mother, once again, all is okay in the world. For more travel, food, and photography-related adventures, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.